If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So first of all, I am going to create a new React.js project using create react app. So I am going to give the name of the project as trailer app. So now you can see that the project has been created. Here, first of all, I am going to remove the boilerplate ports or unwanted files like logos from public folder and from source folder I am going to remove this app.test logo report setup test then next I am going to take the index.js and from index.js I am going to remove these sections after that I am going to take the app.js and i am going to change app.js as like this way then next i am going to run the projects so here i am going to give as trailer app so now you can see that here is the project next i am going to search for tmdb api i am going to click on this link next from here we have to login so i am going to click on this login button so next i am going to login by giving the credentials so here next i am going to click on this api in the drop down of more so in the api section you can see that here is an api link so when I click this API link, you can see that this is the API key that we need to use along with the URL. So next I am going to do is here you can see that there is an API reference. So I am going to click on this API reference. At that time in the sidebar, left panel, you can see that when we move down, there is a discover section where you can find a movie. So I am going to click on that movie. So here you can see that this is the URL that we need to use. So I'm going to copy up to this movie question mark. Then next in the app component, I'm going to define a new function. So I'm going to give the name of the function as get movies, which is an arrow function. Next, I'm going to use the fetch operation. So yeah, here I'm going to paste that URL. Next, I'm going to give here as API underscore T equal to then from here i am going to copy this api key and to paste it as like this way next i am going to give as dot then we will get the response i am going to convert that response into json format after that i am going to log that response so here i am going to give as console dot log json next i am going to give as async await then next i am going to give as try catch and i am going to pass this error to the console dot error okay fine after that i am going to give this fetch inside this try as like this way next i am going to do is to call this get movies function in the use effect hook so i have defined the use effect and i have called the get movies function as like this way so now i am going to take the console so in the console you can see that here is the response response contains results so here you can see there is 20 movies are listed so each movies contains the details such as name poster then overview so next i am going to do is to define a new state so here i'm going to define the state that is movies set movies and i'm going to pass the empty array to the use state as like this way after that i'm going to copy and paste this set to movies instead of this console.log then i'm going to give here as json.results so next i'm going to map through this movies movies dot map and i'm going to give here as return so i'm going to take each movies as data next i'm going to 
use the image tag and in the source attribute we have to give the image so now you can see that here there is only the end portion of this image url so what i'm going to do is here you can see that in the nav bar there is a guides section so i'm going to click on guides so below in the sidebar you can see there is images which contains basics so in the basics you can see the url that we need to use to show the image so i'm going to copy up to this slash and i'm going to paste in the back tick and here i am going to give as data dot poster part so at that time you can see that here is the images or posters of each movies as like this way so next i'm going to do is to give a style here for this image tag that is width for about 300 px and height for about 250 px and next i'm going to give margin left for about 10 px and margin top for about 10 px okay so as of now you can see that this is the structure next i'm going to do is i'm going to search for react youtube and i'm going to click on this npm i'm going to copy this command and to run this command in the new terminal so now you can see that react youtube has been installed into our project so next you can see that in the documentation we have to use the youtube component and the video id so here i am going to use that along with this image itself so here i am going to give us video id within this component as a prop next i am going to do is here you can see that this is the react youtube component or youtube component so when we click there you can see that it is showing error now so we have to pass the video id so now i am going to define a new function that is get videos which is an arrow function and i am going to use the fetch operation so here we have to give the url so from here i am going to click on the api reference in the nav bar then in the sidebar you can see that there is a section called videos in the movies so this is the url that we need to use we need to use up to that language us full url so i'm going to copy and paste that in this fetch operation next i'm going to give here as api underscore key equal to so i'm going to copy this api and paste it here and i'm going to give as and next i'm going to give as dot then we will get the response i'm going to convert that response into json format after that i am going to do is to console that response as like this way console.log.json okay then next i am going to give here as async await then try catch then in the catch i am going to give console.error and i am going to pass this error to this console.error Next, I am going to pass this operation into this try. After that, I am going to call this get videos function in the use effect. Next, here we have to give the movie ID. So, I am going to take the console. So, in the console, you can see that here is the ID of that particular movie. So, we have to use this ID. As of now, I am going to copy this and to paste it here as like this way directly so next you can see that here the response of this get videos function here you can see the id that particular id we have given so i'm going to give here as json dot results so here you can see the results you can see different videos based on that particular movie so i'm going to click on one of that videos so you can see that there is a key so we have to use that key so next i am going to define a new state i am going to give as video sir set video sir and i am going to pass an empty array as an initial state to this u state next i am going to do is to give here as set videos instead of this console.log after that i am going to give here as 
videos of zero dot key as of now i have given only the key of a particular movie okay so now you can see that here is the trailer of the movie If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel.